So I created this admin template called Sakai. I was playing Ghost of Tsushima back then, one of my favorite games, by the way. So I named this uh, template uh, after the name of Jin Sakai. So uh, we imported it to React, Angular, and Vue. This is the React version. This is the Angular version. There's some minor differences. So this is the latest one to show the power of our new next generation theming. I have ported um, Prime it, Sakai to Prime UV4, which is our current next gen library. As you know, Prime React and Prime Engine are also catching up. Uh, the teams are working hard on it. So uh, to compare, uh, here's a Sakai to show, to give you a brief overview. Uh, we have a simpler design, uh, less borders, less shadows, and there's a if you compare to the older version, there was a configurator here where you had to change the theme, bootstrap material, uh, prime one, and so on. And there were the darker versions, so it was like this. And it was not uh, the easier way to do it. You know, there is an issue with the um, chart here. So to fix all this, we have just uh, redesigned it from the ground up. And the new version has a dark switch at the top bar. As you may see, it's all flawless and we are using a modern view transition for smooth uh, transitions. And there, there are a couple of ways like changing primary colors. For example, this is what I call the noir mode, the black and white. And you can choose from a variety of colors. You can come up with your own color. You can do it with a color picker where you just drag and drop and everything changes because it's all CSS variables. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but uh, yeah, you, you could, I, I think. Uh, there's a surface pattern that we used for the grounds, the cars and borders. And it's quite visible in the dark mode, for example. If I switch to dark mode, I can switch the surfaces and so on. And we have two many modes, overlay and static. And also we have the two presets to choose from. Let me show you this one. Okay, let's go to the inputs. Now this is the Aura. This UI is the Aura UI, which is our default. And you can also choose the Lara, which is like a bootstrap look and feel. And to compare uh, with this modern version and the um, former versions, uh, you, you know, we also have the landing pages here. Uh, which is all free and open source, as I mentioned. And we have an authentication page like uh, login. I've also added a configurator here to show you the power of this new theming. This is like a, let's say, technology uh, preview, right? And let's switch to, for example, this one. Aura has borders on the focus, but Lara adds a shadow at the background, and you can easily play with these. I'm, I, when I get bored, I just open some demo with the, our new theming and just, I just try to come up with some nice UIs. For example, I, I like this one with the greenish and I choose this one, you get this. Okay, I mean, depending on your um, brands, it's easy to come up with something like this. All right. So, um, Sakai is out there. It's free and open source. Uh, we hope that you liked it. It's cleaner uh, than ever. And you will be able to get it from GitHub here. We have a short documentation as well. This is a WIT project, but for uh, next generation React version, there will be probably WIT or Next NextJS, I'm not sure. And for Angular, there will be an Angular CLI version. There are already two versions available, but they are not next gen because we need a next gen version of React and Prime NG, as I mentioned. So we have. If you check out the view source, let's compare the old version and the new version to give you a brief overview. I have uh, my Visual Studio here. Here, I think this is the Sakai view, uh, the latest version. Um, if you check out the main JS, we just add Tailwind. The new versions use Tailwind for demos, where the application shall use custom uh, CSS. So we have a couple of um, settings here. I'm using Aura by default. I'm setting Prime View to use Aura and the dark mode selector is something like App Dark. So if you switch in your route, if you add this class called App Dark, 
and then you're instructing the prime view to use that uh, as an indicator as a flag to switch to the dark mode of course um, we also if you're using tailwind for example you also add, need to add this part here so that when you are doing some let's say uh, things like this text surface 900 text surface zero by the way these are from our tailwind plugin which i think the tailwind plus the prime next gen prime ui library is a match made in heaven more stuff coming out regarding that index html is just quite empty and let's check out the uh, configurator here we have a um, simple dark mode switch and i'm using a view composable here to switch things and as you can see there's no theme css here and things like that but if we compare it to the older version this is the sakai let's check out the version 3 the, pr the previous version and now you will see that at the public folder you will see a lot of themes that we grabbed from prime view repository sas theme repository and moved it here and this these are now legacy because instead of a lara light blue there is nothing like this i mean uh, these are pre-compiled css instead of switching css which was quite confusing and which bothered me most about our libraries we had to add links and these should be available at public they were not even bundled within your application so and there was a we have some hacks like change theme which were just grabbing this link and changing the href here and there might be some even ui flickers may happen and now uh, the newer version doesn't have it as i mentioned there is in the index system there's nothing like this and let's check out how theming uh, works there should be a configurator here i define my colors the the patterns here and the surfaces are here so i have two uh, everything is built on this primary and surface palette so that you can come up with your own designs and what we have here in this let me show you i have a new video coming up about the new theming but to show you how it works uh, here we are changing apply theme update preset we have provided two helpers uh, actually more than two but we have the set primer and set surface and at the layout js which is a composable on what we have here set preset we have um, we are getting the primary and surface from our main configuration and apply team what we have it update preset update preset is from prime view themes here as you can see there are a couple of helpers utilities update preset and update surface palette it updates the css variables when working with the next generation ui libraries we, we don't suggest uh, updating the css variables yourselves and let the library do it so we have the update preset up update surface palette are uh, or also update primary so when you compare it here when i click this button i'm instructing uh, prime view to update the primary colors update services and it, it, it updates the css variables for you and there are no let's check out the public folder there are no team css files and i was happy to remove like maybe more than hundreds of files uh, it's good for bandwidth as well and that's it for this version so i really suggest checking out sakai and if you are especially using the view version and uh, it, it, it gives you a nice starter on how things work because uh, we have a couple of new videos coming up about new theming to describe you how to in initialize it how to customize your colors how to customize your tokens dealing with the dark mode scope tokens and things like that so it will be a series of videos uh, but to get started i think you should really uh, uh, check out the sakai and to see how things work and if you like the design it's free and open source and we would be glad if you share what you built with it okay um thank you for joining me and see you on the next tutorial thank you